Good morning. Paul here down in the park. Found a little spot to sit in the sun and read some more out of John chapter 8. We're up to verse 20. These words he spoke in the treasury as he taught in the temple. But no one arrested him because his hour had not yet come. So he said to them again, I'm going away and you will seek me and you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, will he kill himself since he says, where I am going, you cannot come. And he said to them, you are from below, I am from above. You are of this world and I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins, for unless you believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? And Jesus said to them, Just what I've been telling you from the beginning, I have much to say about you and much to judge, but he who sent me is true, and I declare to the world what I have heard from him. They did not understand that he had been speaking to them about the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am he, and that I do nothing on my own authority, but speak just as the Father taught me. And he who sent me is with me, he has not left me alone, for I always do the things that are pleasing to him. As he was saying these things, many believed in him. So Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples. And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. How good is that, eh? If you abide in his word, you will be his disciples. And if, if you abide in his word, you are truly my disciples, he says. And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. How good is that? If we're, if we're bound in sin, we have got the weight of guilt upon us. We've got anxiety around us. We are depressed and anxious about all sorts of things, fearful. But if we abide in his word, we are his disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Nothing better than to be set free, have a weight lifted off your shoulders, have the shackles taken off that bound you. It's interesting when Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego were thrown into the furnace, Jesus appeared with them and the only thing that came off them was the shackles, was the rope that tied them. And they walked out free. They knew the truth and the truth set them free. And that can happen to us if we just let go and abide in him, abide in his word, and believe what he says, and allow his spirit to set us free and to guide us through the rest of our lives. That's a little message from this park bench, down in the park, near the river. You get into the word yourself and let the word of God get into you. See you later now. Goodbye.